I've been wanting to try out a sweet potato latte for a while now. Sweet potato lattes are popular in South Korea during the fall and winter months. I think they make a phenomenal Thanksgiving drink. Think of it like a lighter version of sweet potato pie. While you can drink this on its own with some chopped walnuts, I wanted to try out a boozy version using bourbon that I infused with toasted walnuts. The caramel and vanilla notes in the bourbon pair really nicely with the sweet and earthy flavors of sweet potato. I'm going to make two variations on the sweet potato latte using both Korean sweet potato and purple sweet potatoes. I didn't realize how many kitchen gadgets I used to make this recipe until we started filming this video. Though don't be discouraged if you don't have all of this equipment. There are quite a few workarounds that I'll explain as I go. Since sweet potatoes take a while to cook, I'm going to start with that step. I like to use an instant pot for this because it only takes 15 minutes and the result is a very soft velvety sweet potato. You can roast them in the oven for about an hour or even microwave them if you prefer. I washed my sweet potatoes then poked a few holes in them with a fork before placing them in my instant pot with a cup of water. I'm using the same process for the purple sweet potato. I'll cook these for 15 minutes at high pressure. While the potatoes are steaming, I'll make the walnut infused bourbon. Toasted walnuts will give off much more flavor than raw walnuts. You can toast these in the oven or in a hot pan like I'm doing here. I'll toast these for 4-5 to five minutes, tossing them once in a while to ensure that they're evenly toasted. I'll let them cool off and then add them to an ISI whipper. Then I'll add 4 ounces of bourbon. I'll screw on the lid and charge with one nitrogen whipping cartridge to rapidly infuse the bourbon with the toasted walnuts. I like to give it a shake to incorporate and then let it sit for 3 minutes. If you don't have one of these, you can just add the toasted walnuts to a container with bourbon and let them infuse for about 2 weeks. Keeping the container upright, I'll press the lever to release all of the gas. It's really important to release all of the gas before attempting to open the pressurized vessel. Once I'm certain all the gas has escaped, I'll open the lid and strain out the toasted walnuts. By this time, the sweet potatoes have finished steaming. I'll release any remaining steam from my Instant Pot before opening the lid and removing the sweet potatoes to let them cool. Once they've mostly cooled off, I'll remove the skin and scoop out a half a cup. I'll add the sweet potato and a cup of milk to a saucepan, along with a tablespoon of honey, and heat it over low heat until it's steaming. Then I'll use my immersion blender to blend it all together until it's smooth and creamy. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can add all of the hot ingredients to a regular blender and blend until smooth. Once everything has been blended, I like to strain the latte before adding it to the glass to remove any fibrous pieces of sweet potato. This step is optional since you'll already get some foam from blending your latte, but I like to add some steamed milk on top. I'm using the steam wand on my espresso machine, but you can get similar results by using a French press to froth hot milk. If you're looking for an espresso machine, I highly recommend this one. It's called the Bambino by Breville and it's one of my favorite things in the world. I'll link it in the description below. To my mugs, I'll add the sweet potato latte, which yielded 6 ounces after straining. Then I'll add 1 ounce of the toasted walnut infused bourbon. Lastly, I'll just top each latte with steamed milk. You can sprinkle some more toasted walnuts on top for garnish if you like, but I think the walnut bourbon adds a great deal of walnut flavor to these. The texture of the sweet potato latte is so smooth and velvety, and it tastes like drinking a piece of pie. It's a nice decadent treat to end a meal with, and it doesn't contain any caffeine, so you'll be able to drift off to sleep after eating your body weight in turkey and stuffing. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you all again with another cocktail video. Cheers and have a happy Thanksgiving!